Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video we're going to look into how we work with the Steam Lobby setup. Now something that's important to explain first of all is that Steam Lobbies are more like chat rooms with metadata. They're not actually lobbies as you think of it with game sessions. There's no necessary networking logic or anything like that related to setting up a Steam Lobby. Now this video is also sponsored by Heathens, but let's get right into it. So first of all, I have this base scene or basically two views. So it's just one scene. That's a main menu view. It looks like this. And that's a lobby view, which looks just like this. It's not much magic to it. The buttons do nothing. I have the SteamWorks behavior in here to, of course, initialize Steam. So you can see the local user of Bobsy is now initialized. And that's really it. That's all I have in here. So let's just get started right off with also adding the lobby manager, which this is a high level component from SteamWorks or from Heathens, rather from the complete kit. And this is just called the lobby manager. And if we add that, you can see there's a bunch of things here to already tap into now all the lobby manager really does is just it exposes a bunch of these values or setups that is basically already there but it just makes it a lot easier for you to interact with the teamworks lobby system so for example if we want slots slots now lobby we can write that we want four slots the type can be for example let's say friend only and there's also some search arguments and some search logic in case you want to be looking for lobbies publicly but for now we're going to be working on a private lobby setup just like you would see in let's say a party game where your friends join and then you can press start lobby in the game will start so let's just get this set up so now we have the lobby manager in here and again nothing really changes now that we press play but now we can actually have a few things happening so first of all we can take our host button here or the start lobby button and we can set that up to the lobby manager and go into the lobby manager and hit create and now this button will create a lobby for us this so far it does nothing visually it will actually initialize us into a lobby and the same thing we can actually do with the leave button inside of the lobby i can drag the lobby manager onto here go to the lobby manager and hit leave now if i press start and i press on the start lobby button and if i go to the windows steamworks and the inspector you get this inspector view here where you can see we're initialized with steam there's a little lobby tab up here and you can now see we're actually in a lobby so let me just try and stop this start this go to the inspector you can see there's no lobby hit the button now we're in a lobby and you can see how much metadata is there what the lobby name is lobby id what who the members are and so on so this is really the base of the setup so now we got to interact with the lobby manager to have things happen you know visually that we like so let me start by just setting up a new let's call it a menu manager and i'm just going to make a new script and call that our menu manager and we can drag and drop that onto the new game object now inside of this menu manager there's a few things that we want references to and i'm just going to use headers to keep it clean so that's the main menu and there's also going to be a header for the lobby setup now in the main menu i'm just going to serialize field the private game object which is the parent or the whole menu so let me just call this one the main menu object and i'm going to do the exact same down here but for the lobby instead so this is going to be the lobby object this is what will be toggling when we join and leave a lobby it'll toggle between these so we can actually have that set up already so let me just make a public void open main menu and we can make a public void for open lobby and then we can have a private void for close screens this is just where i'll be disabling both of the screens so we're going to have this dot set active to false and i'll just copy this line have the lobby object down here too and now we have the lobby object here which can be set to true and we can have the main menu object up here which is set to true so this is just as simple as this we open the main menu it sets the main menu to true but we also wanted to just close the screens before doing this so let's just do it like that and now it goes now it closes the screens first and then it opens the correct window so now going back in here we can actually set this up to already work so if we just go into the lobby manager you can see there's a few events in here so that's an event for when the uh, created lobby has happened that's an event for when you leave the lobby and that's also an event for when you successfully have entered the lobby which is up here so this is not when you create the lobby this is when you join the lobby so let me drag the menu manager into all of these because they're all relevant and then when we leave we want to call the open main menu when we create a lobby we want to call the open lobby and when we join we want to call the open lobby like so now if i just try and hit play you can see when i press start lobby oh of course i forgot to assign them they're going in here that's the main menu view and that's the lobby view like that and now when i press start you can see that it jumps straight to the lobby view and when i press leave it'll jump back to the main screen this means that we're correctly joining and leaving the lobby now also something i just like to do is just in a wake i just want to open the main menu by default just so we can be in any view and it doesn't really matter now this is already a really good start now we're already able to create a lobby and open up the lobby view now let me go and open up the lobby view here and now we need to be able to invite players to the lobby so an easy way to do this is heathens already have in their assets heathens and prefabs folder they have the friend invite drop down menu which i'm just going to be using this and i'm going to position it just somewhere up here or we could just easily use it and what this does is it right now it just sets it to inactive 
when you're trying to invite someone. I don't want to do that, but this is basically what happened. So let me try and show you. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to start a lobby. And now in here, you can see this is me and this is the player who I want to invite. I can click here and I can click invite. Now at this point, the invite doesn't do anything. But once we press that invite button, this event gets called with the correct user data. So this is essentially what we want to tap into and what we want to happen in here. So what I can do is I can just do a public void invite. Or actually, hold on. I'm pretty certain that the lobby manager actually has a call for this already. So we just drag the lobby manager on there and there should be an invite up here and you can see now this will just work as soon as we hit invite the other steam account will get a pop-up with the invite information however what we still need to work with is how do they join because even though that they press the pop-up in the chat they'll press to join it won't actually do anything because we need to tell steam what happens when the user presses join in the overlay now there's a few ways to go about this they actually have an overlay manager but i think that's for another video so an easy way to tap into this if i just go back to the code here and we can go to the heathen whoops heathen engineering dot steamworks integration dot api dot overlay dot client and then we have the game lobby event game lobby join requested and we can add a listener to this adding a listener just to make it very clear is the same as basically dragging something in here so this is just an event that happens when you press the join button you know you've been invited to a game you press the join button this gets called and so here we can just say overlay join button and we can just create this method of overlay join button then we have the lobby data and we have the user data so just as simple as this i'm just gonna put it let's put it down here and you can just copy this if you don't if you don't know what i did up here just to make it very clear what i did is in most setting setups you can either right click and have it handle something automatically for you on my case i just held alt and press enter and it'll pop up and say hey do you want to do you want me to create the method automatically so that's just what i did but you can just copy the method here if you'd like from my screen now in here we also need a reference to the so let me just serialize field private and this is going to be the lobby manager because we need to be able to tell the lobby manager to now join this lobby so down here we're just going to say lobby manager dot join and i'm going to feed it the lobby data and there we go now we should successfully join here and one last thing that i also want to do is i want to set the title just so we can confirm that we're in the right lobby so i'm just going to have a text mesh pro ugi which is the lobby title and i think this lobby title should just be set off of the name of the lobby because the, the lobby does have a, a name set up. So what we can do is we can do a public void on lobby created. And then we can actually use that instead of the open lobby. So now we can just call the open lobby in here. And then up here, we can also set the, this needs to have lobby data, which will be our lobby data. And that lobby data dot, and this, then we can set the name equals to whatever we want the name to be. In this case, I think it should be my, uh, let's make it my local user. So we can do user data dot me dot name plus, and then we can do s's lobby like that. So it'll pop up and be my name lobby i hope that makes sense and then it'll automatically open the lobby for us as well and now when we have the name here we need to also of course set the uh the lobby title dot text equals to and we can just set it to the same thing really and by also doing this we can now also have it so when people successfully join so we can have a public void on lobby joined which also holds the lobby data and we can actually do the exact same thing this one will also just automatically open the lobby so I removed it there we go this one will also successfully open the lobby and it will take the lobby title.txt equals to the lobby data.name. I hope this makes sense. So upon creating the lobby, we are setting the data of the lobby. And upon joining the lobby, we are just setting the title from the data that's already been set on the hosts or the other person creating the, the lobby. So let's try and apply this. So going back here into the lobby manager, we have the enter success. So instead of that being open lobby, we should have it on lobby joint and when we create a lobby we should have it on the on lobby created like that so let's just try and test now i press start lobby oh and of course again i haven't set up the references so that's the lobby title and then that's the lobby manager like that i press start and you can see now when i press start lobby it'll say bubsy's lobby and it should also do that for others so let me just try and make a build send it to the other computer and let's test oh there we go my other account has just started the game i'm going to start a lobby over on that screen and then i'm just going to invite the screen which you're looking at to this game so now i just hit the invite button and as you can see the invite popped up i can press play game and there we go i joined and i have in conky dong's lobby and it works as easy as that there's no networking nothing necessary for this what we can do from here is then we could start the game session with the host for example having a start game button we can also in the future videos look into how we set up to actually display the players that are currently in this steam lobby or there's a lot of things to really do from here but it's as easy as this it's basically just a chat room with data the lobby manager of heathens helps a whole bunch and makes the setup super super easy we can also 
also have some on user joined on user left events to you know use to display data and so on but yeah hopefully this was helpful to you if you liked the video remember to leave a like comment and subscribe and i hope that you have a wonderful day